What's up, everyone? It is your girl, GL Beauty 87 here, aka Grace. And today, we're going to get into the KBD Beauty Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Vegan Serum Foundation. So, I bought the shade Tan 074 for tan to deep skin with neutral bronze undertone. I usually wear the shade um, Tan 074 in the KBD Foundations if you we're not aware so i just made sure i went ahead and grabbed the shade i normally wear so it says this is a light weight full coverage serum foundation that blends and bends with skin for a natural seamless finish and transfer proof wear the coverage is full the finish is natural the formulation is liquid i breathe all the stuff from sephora at by the way if anyone was curious it says apple extract but just like the last one which nourishes and keeps skin looking fresh light look glycerin glycerin i believe this is nourish your skin for all day comfort it says you've never seen full coverage like this packed with flexible emol 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 <laughs> elsimer pigments sorry y'all it's 12 a.m good apple full coverage transfer proof vegan serum foundation blends and bends with your skin for natural seamless back flashback free finish that covers everything from blemishes to acne scars to hyperpigmentation it has a poor blurring effect is non-communogenic and stands up to sweat and humidity um this random side note this foundation actually um is the box not the box sorry the container and the top of it are supposed to be recyclable so the bottle is recyclable and so is the cap of course it wants to die once you know I start filming. Something told me to put another, um, what do you call it, in, um, uh, camera in before, I mean, battery in before I started, but this is what it looks like. This is what my shade looks like. I feel like it looks a little lighter than normal. I don't know if it's because they added more shades, or maybe they did add more shades, but this is the shade I got. I feel like it's going to work out okay. I know Tina the Fancy Face wears a shade, too, which I found interesting because, you know, Tina is lighter than I am. She says she's more of a Taraji P. Henson shade, and obviously I'm not a Taraji P. Henson shade, so I'm like, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I also got this Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer plus Finishing Powder. So we're going to use this as a primer today and see how this goes. I'm kind of nervous. I haven't used a whole bunch of Wet n Wild forever, but I think I saw my girl It's Glam Exo Beauty on Instagram talking about this too because she buys a lot of Wet n Wild. I don't really buy that much Wet n Wild just because y'all know I don't feel like lately Wet n Wild has been catering to people who look like me and the fact that this powder is like extremely white is of concern to me. I noticed they're putting a lot of essences along with primers now as well because I have the um, Smashbox Essence Primer, the one I sprayed in the video like a while ago on my face right now. So I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. So um, I'm trying to figure out how to put this on though because I'm like, because it looks like it's like a powdery base type thing and it doesn't really seem like a balm. I don't know how this is supposed to be a primer. So it's going to be interesting, especially because of my skin tone. So I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't. But at the same time, when I blended it down to my hand, as you can see, there's nothing on my finger now. And I had some white stuff on my finger earlier. So I guess we could try it out. And hopefully I don't look too crazy. The good thing is I don't have to really go anywhere tomorrow. I need to get gas. I took Adrian game game over to school. I took him to get a haircut today since I got back today. So those are the only two things I really am going to need to do. So I'm hoping... That if it does look crazy, I can just play it off. I got a whole bunch of Battle of Love things, too, that we're going to add in this video just to talk about. Because I got the new Essence Blushes, finally. They finally came to Ulta. I bought the foundation from Ulta, too, and picked it up in store when I got back from vacation. Then I'm going to test the Milani up against the Nikki Joy. I'm going to test a couple of concealers against each other. It's going to be a whole battle in addition to all these other new products we're trying out. And then I got more new stuff coming from Sephora that I ordered while I was on vacation. So... We'll see how that goes. Anyway, girl, I've been talking all the time. The battery still ain't here, so let me go get a new battery. Then we'll put the primer on my face on camera, the foundation, all the other stuff, and then I will um, get into some eye looks because I got a few why you don't need videos coming on eyeshadow palettes that drop for Valentine's Day and ones that people thought was going to drop for Valentine's Day and didn't, so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm trying to figure out how to hit up with this primer on because it's literally like some weird powder. Like, do I pat it on my face? I think I'm going to just take... I'm gonna take one of these little puff things I have here and just I guess pat it on my skin girl because I don't know what else to do with this thing you know it's supposed to be a finishing powder and a primer and the essence and all this other stuff but it's it's like a silky powder though so I'm guessing that should be okay girl I don't know we got to try it out y'all since it says it's a primer that's what I want to try to use it as mainly because I don't see myself using this as a finishing powder because it's so light and white that's why it's kind of like eerie of getting in the first place I'm like what what the hell am I supposed to do but I figured before I put people that look like me to see what you can do with it, because you know, 
supposedly. Oh, look at that. Okay. I mean, I feel like it's giving me a little bit of a white cast, but this will be a primer, like, you know. Okay, y'all, it's pretty much blending away to nothing. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, I hope that I'm wrong, because, you know, I already spent my money. I bought this at CVS, random side note. I know I need to get all my CVS videos as far as makeup, but I have told y'all about CVS deals in the past, like when I told y'all not to buy the Kayla palette from, uh, what do you call it, um, from Glamite's website. It's like, go, since I had to do a video on it, that's why I had to buy it from there. But it's like, if they had launched at CVS the same time I launched there, obviously I'd use the 40% off coupon like I told you all, and go on ahead and bought that. So it's like, I want to get back into CVS videos. I got a gloss from CVS too from CoverGirl, so we might put that on towards the end. I don't know, we'll see. Because I want to see if I can find a dupe for I mean, I want to see if it's a dupe to this gloss I'm thinking about. Because to me, it seems like it might be a dupe to those new glosses from what's his name. This actually looks pretty nice. One thing is I feel like it's not giving any moisture, you will, or essence. Like it's um, saying, I feel like primers usually give like that. I don't know if it's because it's supposed to be so many things in one. It's not doing that. But I feel like after rubbing it on my face, it feels kind of dry. So I don't know that it necessarily helped. But, you know, whatever. Moving on. Um... But that's what I was saying. So, yeah, I'm like, I want to see if it's a dupe for those made by Mitchell glosses I got in the set that I put on in one of the videos because it's a peachy-ish color. Matter of fact, the, I found out about these through Andrea Renee on her TikTok. She was talking about how they're so wonderful. So, I got this color right here. And I have a color in that package that is similar to this color. In my personal opinion, this is the shade Coconuts About You. That was the only one I saw that looked somewhat nice and nobody hit open because y'all know people be opening stuff even though it's a drugstore. You know, it's, it's not all to drugstore where you can open stuff, but they still be opening. Okay, so I put two pumps on the back of my head just to start off with. That's what the color looks like. Again, I feel like it looks a little light, so I am kind of concerned, but then again, I guess that's good because that means, you know, they expanded the shade range or else my shade should have been the shade. Same, because my shade was darker than this, but now it's a little lighter, so I guess that's good. We'll see how many how far these two pumps go y'all know i like a good amount of coverage but my skin has been getting better it was bad while i was on vacation because i had to sleep on cotton pillowcases and then like i had to wipe my face with towels and if you all don't know i clean my face and use paper towels like a throwaway paper towel not like a actual face towel because i find that you know that throws all the dirt away with it and if you're using the same face towel every day and night i feel like that's you know harmful but i did have to use makeup wipes when i was on vacation because i forgot to bring my um cleansing balm I get those 100 point perk ones from Sephora when they have them so that when I go on vacation I'll have some but I forgot to pack it. Like this time when I went on vacation to Vegas y'all I really didn't pack anything like I literally packed the day of. Like after I had filmed those videos at night that you all saw over the two days I was gone because they were Valentine's Day related content including the one that went up um, today on the 15th. Well technically it's the 16th now but on the 15th then you know. Okay so it gave a decent amount of coverage. I don't know if it's because of the primer I'm using, but I feel like my pores look like really cakey and it's supposed to blur the pores, I thought. So I'm thinking it's because of the primer I use, because I don't know if y'all can see, like, see, it looks really cakey right in there. But y'all know that's why I started off with the most powder. On this side, it doesn't look nearly as cakey, so I'm thinking it's the primer that's already messing up this foundation for me, because it just looks really heavy and cakey in this area where I put that, I started off with that primer. So the primer, I feel like it's already sabotaging the foundation. No way. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I should put on less tomorrow and then maybe that will like help. Because I'm just filming the intro and this part as usual here. I will have to reapply all this stuff tomorrow and do my actual wear test in. Because like I told y'all it's 12 a.m. But y'all know I'll get off work and like film stuff. I, now I didn't have to, I don't have to work the rest of this week. So I'm going to try to catch up on all the palettes I have sitting around and the video ideas that y'all asked before. I'm just taking one more pump just to see if we can cover up some of the discoloration before I start, you know. Because y'all remember I'm doing two different concealers and then um, two different powders on the face and underneath the eye. Because I want to try the um, NARS powder up against the um, Shaw, the Tilbury one to see if we can find a little bit of a cheaper alternative. Because the NARS one is cheaper than the Shaw, the Tilbury. I think that was 48 if I remember correctly. And the NARS one was in the 30s. I want to say it's 32, but don't quote me. I have to like check that video again and see. This foundation, if I this foundation retails for $42. So, I probably should have said that earlier too. Y'all thought this is a pretty decent shade match. I feel like it's making me look a little light enough. Hoping it would, but you know, I feel like once I put, if I was putting on like a foundation pad on top of it, I could make it work just fine. I 
don't know if I'm having this like cast situation going on because of the um what do you call that the um, primer because again y'all saw it was like a white primer so I'm feeling like I'm not looking like an exact perfect match but I feel like it's because of the primer that I put on them so far the primer to me is a bust it's like caking up my pores which I don't like and I feel like it's sabotaging this um foundation so I might have to put it on in another video because I got some stuff coming from um what do you call it tomorrow I might have to refilm this whole intro I'm hoping not though because I'm really not liking the way it's like caking up in here, but like I said, we all saw that's where I first applied the powder, so I'm thinking we're just gonna go ahead with it and you know, tomorrow I'll, um, when I get my Sephora order in, uh, I'll show you the products with this foundation again, we'll just use a different primer so we can see if it really is the primer or not. So we'll see, I don't know, but. So this is three layers of foundation. I feel like it did a a good job as far as the cheeks go now that um I got the extra coverage for those dark spots. Like I said, since I'm using two different concealers, I didn't want to um flush that up. So the two concealers we're going to use is the the V one that I put in the um what do you call that video? The uh overrated versus underrated, and then I'm gonna use the minted again that I'm so excited the minted came out with one. So I think I'm gonna put the minted on this side and then I'll put the V on this side. Or maybe I'll switch them around. So I got a card got full, but I was saying we're gonna do the Vive on this side and we're gonna do um, minted on this side. I'm just so happy about this minted concealer. If you know, you know. If you follow my channel for any amount of time, I used to talk about the minted foundation stick a lot, and I used to talk about the powder. And I was like, all I need from them is a concealer, and everybody's telling them to make a concealer, but they made all this other stuff inside the concealer that we asked for. Like they made bronzer, they made eyebrows, they made it was one. I think they made another eyeshadow powder. It's like no, we asked you. See how serious I am about it? Yeah, this definitely has the same gel consistency. I like the coloring of the, um, what do you call it, one a little bit more, though. Yeah, I still do the triangle. I, I know people say it's supposed to be retired and all that. I don't care what you say. I like my damn triangle. I'm still doing my makeup like that, and, you know, that's how I feel. I don't, I need lots of coverage down here because of my acne and whatnot, so that's why I do it the way I do it. I think about starting to put, um, okay, so we're done with the V right now. But I am thinking about starting to put, um, what do you call it? Um, color corrector on them and maybe that'll help as far as like you know you know I haven't used much now this one is definitely a thinner formula I feel like the Vive is a much thicker formula but they both have like that cooling gel consistency and I feel like this one has a little bit more brightness but I want to see how they're going to wear the same because I do feel like they have the same, same formulation if you like a thinner concealer I feel like you like this one more I feel like the one from Essence is even thinner than this one though and I like that one as well, but I feel like that one may be a little too thin. If you don't need that much coverage, I feel like that one would be a great one. But I feel like if you need more coverage, see what I'm saying? How the difference in color is. But I had to guess the Vive one online because you can't go and swim because of the Vive. I'm going to just put the minted one everywhere else for the brightness effect. Because I hate trying to like, you know, pick a side and um, try to do different ones down the middle. So we're just going to put um, minted down the middle. So yeah, there we go. But anyway. Y'all want to drop the eyeshadow palette that I was holding to use the mirror for. I hate when that happens because then you get stains on your hand. Like now I got a stain of like purple on my hand. Try to catch it, but anyway. So, I'm going to blend that out. And I'm going to just turn it over on the side. It's clean. I'll see to blend it out. I don't want to get to it, but. I don't know. But back to what I was saying. I was feeling like. Um, the Ethophone might be a good group for the minted one, depending on what you like coverage. So it's like if you like gel formulated concealers, I feel like if you like a more thicker formula, you would like the V one. If you like a thinner formula, you would like the and brightening clear concealer, you would like the minted one. And then if you don't need that much coverage and you're in the on a buying it or on a budget, I feel like you would definitely like the um the one from Essence. Because it's only I think like five dollars i'm pretty sure it was 3.99 or 4.99 and it is that light formula but like the gel -ish type consistency to it it doesn't cost me now so it's all depends on what exactly you like which one you will like crap y'all also bring brushes in here to um set the consumer's eyes so we're gonna turn it back over to this side because this is the side that mentioned it on and we're gonna 
Now, you can tell the difference in the concealers when it comes to the brightness and when blending out. It's much easier to blend out the minted one just because it's not as thick a formula as the, um, what do you call it, the V one. But I feel like with the V one, like, I don't necessarily like the coloring on it. And I remember saying that, like, it was a little too close to my skin tone for my liking. And I feel like the minted one just does a little more brightness. Can't you tell? Like, well, I mean, I guess blending out doesn't look as bad. I still feel like you can tell this side is a little bit darker than this side and toward the middle of my face because I put the minted toward the middle of my face. So that's just what I'm noticing. And as far as the formulas go, like one is lighter than the other one. So I have a brush over here to put underneath my eyes because I feel like I only have like big ones over here. I don't have little ones to slip anything underneath my eyes. So that's the part I'm concerned about. Okay, foundation brushes. Well, I got these two little um, brushes that are actually for highlighter, but we're not doing highlighting videos. So I'm gonna just take these two brushes to use underneath the eyes, the two powders we're gonna use. So we got a battle of powders as well, because y'all know I try to battle everything there to nail down. So we're gonna, since we're just putting all the more expensive stuff on this side, we're just gonna keep on. Charlotte's gonna go on this side. I'm hoping it'll help with the brightness of this one, since this one is darker than this side. And then we're gonna use the NARS on this side. So I have the shade Bay and NARS. Now, this doesn't claim to be brightening, it's supposed to be soft matte. If I remember correctly, they said it was supposed to be blurring, and then this one is supposed to be brighter. So I especially want the brightness on this side, since this is the eye, you know, that has the um, darker concealer on it. So let's get into this. Now this is the Fluff Brush from Colourpop. I'm sorry. Patting this on here, hoping that Charles Tilbury can brighten up underneath our eye. So I guess it's making it a little brighter. I don't see a huge difference in the brightness of it, but you know. This is what it looks like set. I feel like it's giving like, you know, a little bit more brightness to making the side look a little bit lighter. I feel like it's giving a better airbrush effect too. It doesn't look nearly as like, you know. I don't feel like my pores are nearly as pronounced now that I put that powder on, on this side. So it's helping save that powder underneath the face. Yeah, don't use this as primer. That wet and wild we started off with, cause honey, she's definitely um making my face feel extra dry. Now we're taking the NARS and sitting it underneath here. Ooh, yes, I can feel the, I can see the soft matte and smoothing of this. I love it. Interesting to see how both of them wear throughout the day, cause I feel like if I remember correctly, like the Charlotte Tilbury one was like looking grease underneath the eyes. And I feel like the NARS one did a better job, just from what I remember with that video, where I tried all the different, you know, makeup products. Because I'm pretty sure I tried this with the Essence, um, this powder with the Essence um, foundation and concealer when they initially showed up in my door set, so. I'm looking at each powder for different reasons. Like I like this one because it's giving a nice smooth and blurring effect. And I already had the brightening concealer on it. So I feel like this one looks a little bit brighter. But this one is looking closer to the way the concealer originally looked on this side before we set it. Just because of the brightness from Charlotte. So each one of them is looking good and looking nice. It's just a question what you want. If you want a more brightening looking effect. The only thing is if you got to remember there's like glitterish looking particles in this one. And I'm seeing them like underneath my eyes because I don't have any eyeshadow on. So I know it didn't fall from anywhere. But I see a couple like glittery particles on my face. So just keep that in mind with the Charlotte Tilbury one. You'll see a couple of those like right here underneath the eye where you initially put it on. Whereas with this one you just want to get that smooth matte finish. So it all depends on what you want. Which one you should use girl. I like both for different reasons. Like which is why I have both of my collection side. So I got review expensive stuff. So. That's another reason. I'm kind of decided to test these blushes against the Pat McGrath because they're both baked blushes. So I want to see if these could be a dupe for this right here. So even though you can find this in TJ Maxx for 20 bucks, like if you can spend, I think these are $4.99, $5.99. They're in the $3.99 to $5.99 range. And I feel like you're getting way more product in here than you are in here with all of these combined. I feel like you should just go ahead and try one of these out. So I'm probably going to put one of these on. I mean, I'm going to put this on, but I'm saying, like, I think I'm going to put a shawl and Tilbury on with it just so we can see how it goes. So now let's get into these powders. So I know y'all, I'm just trying all the powders today. So, of course, Milani going to go on this side because we're trying to keep all the affordable stuff on this side and all our cheaper price things versus things on this side. So we're going to do the Nichia Joy powder on this side. So let's get to it. Uh, let's take the butt of the sponge. I'm going with the Nichia Joy powder. 
on this side. Now they're both supposed to be blurring powders that make the skin look smooth and flawless. And as I remember, both of them are blurring. My only concern is since they're translucent and I am <laughs> a darker skin tone, I'm only gonna have a little that kind of go. But and I haven't worn the Nikia Joy in ages, so I'm hoping I don't look crazy out here with this, you know, translucent pad on. But y'all know I'm gonna spray my face and hook it on up. I'm gonna go off camera and do some bronzer because we not we don't have any bronzer and I'm not about to, you know, try to do bronzer on camera when I don't have to to save time. So this is Nakia Joy side. I feel like I see a somewhat white cast having put this on. If y'all see down here, don't you see the whiteness or is it just me? So I don't know if I picked up too much or if it's just it's giving more of a white cast. From what I remember, the Milani one didn't give me a white cast. So that's the only concern I'm really having right now. The fact that it's, I feel like it's sitting on top of the skin. But y'all know me, I'm going to spray the face. And I'm going to do that on camera with you all. Just so, you know, we can see if it changes the outcome of how it looks on this side after we get the Milani on the face. So let's get into it. Now this comes with a cute little cover or whatever. One thing I hate about ones like this that have covers is like sometimes I feel like it's harder to get product out. So I'm just take this clean part right here and go on that one so nobody can say I mixed the powders together. Because y'all clearly saw me use the bottom of the Beauty Blender for, or like this sponge from Sephora for that. And now we're going to take the top of it. Okay, so starting off, the Milani one is just a thinner formula than the Nikia Joy one. I feel like the formula for powder is thicker. This one, but well, you know. Okay, so both of them are kind of looking like this whitish cast, if you will. So I don't know how I feel about that, but um, from what I remember, this one blended the skin nicely once I like powdered my face. I mean, once I sprayed my face with the powder and did the sponge trick that I normally do. So I'm hoping that they'll be okay once we do that. And then we should be good. So okay, y'all. So this is the more affordable side, and this is the high end side. Because I don't put myself in the eyeball there. Okay, so we're going to take this belt spring real quick. Yeah, I definitely see the cast on both sides. So I'm not. Mm -hmm. So let's press her on in and see how she does. Pressing on this side. Okay. I'm gonna turn it over to the side. I put the pot on this side. I just press it in because again, we're not trying to mix anything together. I know it's probably gonna take a few minutes to warm up the skin, so I'm gonna go off camera, get um, you know, put on my bronzer and whatnot, and then we'll come back and we'll um, you know, see how that goes. So. This is what our face is looking like right now. So I feel like it blended in like I said it would and warm to the skin once we put that on. But I still feel like it looks a little just around the jawline, a little gray. I don't know if it's because it's doubled up with the primer being like that whitish powder. And then I was putting a whiter powder on top of the foundation shade. And me feeling like the foundation shade isn't necessarily perfect. But, you know, I can make it work. So anyway, I got to go put on bronze and I'll be right back. And then we'll try out both of these blushes because I'm going to swatch them with my hand and see if the formula feels the same. Then if it doesn't, we'll just use one of each color of the essence one on the face. Be right back. Okay, so I went and bronzed up. And now I feel like I'm looking a little more like myself because before with just that foundation, I was like, ooh, I don't know, girl. So we're going to swatch this shade called Berry Cheeks because as usually I know I got the berry one and I got like the corelish pinkish looking one. This one's called Bold Heart. So I'm going to swatch it against the two that I feel like look similar in this Pat McGrath. So I'm going to swatch it against these two and see how the formulas feel. If they feel similar, we'll put them on the face. If they don't, I'll just put on two different ones. But they're both definitely giving me shimmery baked blush vibes. Okay, so I'll blend it out that one. Well, this one feels a little bit drier, and I feel like the um, S one feels a little bit more silkier and smoother. That's what the two colors look like. So I want to swatch this pink one to see if it's similar to the one that's already on my hand. Okay, so the colors aren't exact. As you can see, the Pat McGrath pink one is a little bit brighter, and this is supposed to be their berry tone one, but you see Malta's berry is a little bit deeper. So that's what the colors are looking like. Now I'm going to swatch the Bold Heart one against this pink one just to see which ones look similar. I feel like they feel somewhat similar. Like I said, the um, ones from Essence are a little bit thinner than the ones from Pat McGrath. So just keep that in mind. If you wanted a thicker one, I don't know how that was about to fare. I feel like these colors actually look pretty similar though. The, um, 
Essence one and the um both the Essence ones look pretty similar to me. Like I thought it was supposed to be coily or more pink, but I feel like see, like this is supposed to be the berry one and this is supposed to be the pink one. I feel like they both look pretty similar. I'm thinking we're gonna do these two pinks though. Like I'll do this pink with this pink and just see how they wear throughout the day. So we can put the berry one away and actually do the pink one. So let's see about that. So I got my two black on brand brushes. So I'm gonna take the Andrea Renee X Peaches and Pearl brush. I'm going to use that on, of course, this side. And then we're going to get some Mother's Blush on the other side. And I'm going to just use Mother's Highlighter here. Even though it's a little bit glittery, but I'm only doing eye looks tonight. And then I'm going to go home and take all this off. And then tomorrow we're going to be when I actually do the wear test on it. So you're just getting me put in the application process tonight. Because, you know, I like to um, do the application process ahead of time. So that way I don't have to try to come back and film all this stuff. I can come in. The next day and just start on eye looks or whatever else I need and I have to worry about filming this but so that's why I do it so this was gonna take quite a bit of building up because as you can see I've been sitting here and I've dipped in like six seven eight times but I mean like it's like a like I said it's from it's either $3.99 through like $5.99 price range so it's like I'm not expecting it to do a whole lot or give a whole lot Essence blushes are known for being like quite pigmented or whatnot, so I'm not surprised that I'm having to see here all this time to do it but I wanted to build up enough so we can see that the colors are similar and swatching it, I had to dig in. I didn't have to dig in a lot, but you know, I wasn't being applied to the brush that isn't taking as much to the face. So this is what color we're working with. I think it looks okay. I feel like these would look better underneath the cream blush just because they're not getting that much pigmentation. It is giving a shimmery moment though. I do feel like this is giving a shimmery moment and I feel like the Pat McGrath ones give a shimmery moment as well. So we'll see which one is most pigmented. I don't have to take as much time with. I feel like it should be mother since she costs so much, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Now I'm gonna take this brush from um, Colored Rain. This is their angled blush brush. I bought their brush set, I think when they had like a 50% off sale or something like that, and that's how I ended up with it. So remember, we're taking this pink shade right here and putting that on, and then we're gonna put this highlighter on. And then I'll spill my face and I'm done with it all. Oh my God. That in my eyeshadow palette. So anyway, back to this. Yeah, on the face, this one definitely looks lighter than the one from, um, essence but i do feel like it's giving more coverage off the bat but then again mother calls more so it should and this one definitely looks more shimmery than the one from um essence so the pat mcgrath one is obviously going to build up more and give more coverage just because it costs more so if you don't mind sitting and building up then i feel like they look pretty comparable i feel like mother's is a little bit more pink than theirs is to me theirs reads more of a muted like i guess peachy coral pink that many kind of sense so this is pat mcgrath and this is essence and y'all saw i built up essence like six or seven times so with the pat mcgrath and i only had to dip into it like two maybe three times just to be like this extra and shiny so as far as pigmentations go mother is definitely winning i'm gonna try to build this one up just a little bit more because i feel like it just looks bogus how much more pigmentation i got from the pat mcgrath one versus the essence one but then again lots of people don't like a really pigmented blush so maybe i should just do like this yeah, when you pat it like this, as opposed to like doing the brush technique I was doing like that, you'll get more product down. But then again, I feel like this is one you're going to have to put on top of a cream blush in order to get true pigmentation to last for a long amount of time. That's just how I'm feeling based upon, you know, putting it on right now. But we'll see how it goes, girl. We'll see how it goes. So I think those are all the comparison things we had to put on today. So let's just pop on with this highlighter real quick and then I'll, you know checking with y'all a little bit later but I want y'all to see the finished face with my setting spray on and all that y'all know how I do this highlighter is really glittery by the way so just FYI if you don't like glittery highlighters you're not gonna like the highlighter in here because I can see glitter particles on my face I saw them flying off when I did my brush in just to get it done so you're gonna have glitter on your face girl it's just a given see look my chin it's gonna be glitter in this so just don't be alarmed by oh we're good Getting all the glue, like honey, all the glue. So let's spray her off and see how everything looks blended and done together. So I'm gonna take the cover of X and spray it real quick. I don't know what's going on with them, but I hope they come up with some new products soon. Like, 
all their foundations and concealers and powders and everything were wonderful, but it's like they didn't really do too much anything else. The highlighters were good too, so everything they came out with was good. It's like I just don't know what happened to them. And I would like them to come back and give us some foundations and concealers, especially since you know this is the time of year where people come out with all those other products. So. That would be nice. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished face with all the products. I'm thinking they look pretty good. I'm going to put the lip gloss in tomorrow's video with the um, other stuff I tried out. So, I'm not going to try these out today. But I will swatch them just to see if they have similar colors to them. And possibly if the formula is similar or not. I know this, um, the one from... Was it made by Mitchell is definitely uh, more pigmented than I feel like this cover girl one is gonna be but you know we could try out and see real quick yeah this is definitely giving like sheer lip gloss vibe so I don't even think yeah I don't even need to test this out but see that's the cover girl one it's clear and this one is clearly pigmented and has a lot of opacity to it so I might just put this on now but you know it's not like you're giving any color anyway Looks like peaches, random side note. That sounds like the Too Faced Arta official peach palette smell. That's what it's giving. Yeah, that, that's what it's giving. So, this is the finished face. I'm going to go do some why do me videos that you all can see over the weekend and I'm hoping you can see this video Friday because I'm going to have to do the weird test like I said tomorrow and then um, you can see some of the why don't needs tomorrow instead. So I'll be right back girl and tell y'all my um, thoughts at the end of the night. Okay girl? Okay. Okay y'all so I have returned. It is now 3.30 in the morning. I put this on around. 11 o'clock 12 o'clock it was like 11 50 so we just gonna um say it was 12 o'clock so it's 12 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 so i've only had this on for about like four hours but i'm really not liking the way it looked i feel like it's because of the primer i put on because you gotta think that was like a really white translucent powder and although it looks like it blended the skin well i feel like i'm looking gray and this is literally the shade i wear in every foundation from this brand so either they expanded the shades or like it's the primer that's messing me up plus the primer feels really dry on the face and i don't know and i feel like the foundation isn't supposed to feel dry on the face just based upon what we read earlier so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give you um wrap up on the face today as far as the other products go and then when i do my final check-in um and the next clip that you see it'll be of the foundation itself so we just gonna wrap up with all the products i've tested as far as the battle goes and then after this you'll see the actual foundation um wrap up video because i don't feel like it's fair to rank it on this when i tried a whole bunch of new stuff so i'm gonna try with a primer i normally use and powders and other things i normally lose but i didn't want to waste this face as far as the battle went so since i've tried each one of these products separately except for the blush i feel like it's fair enough to where i can talk about the rest of these things now the primer i'm not liking at all i don't think i want to try it any other way because it's like where is the essence coming from that i'm supposed to be using it as obviously i wouldn't use the finishing powder because i mean y'all saw how stark white it was for some of my skin tones so i don't think that powder is good and worth anything to me if you have a lighter skin tone you might want to try it out but i feel like for anybody with my skin tone and even i think my girl karen harris or Dion shade i don't know if i would necessarily tell you to use that because i feel like you know it made me look a hot mess and i feel like i look gray and ashy and crazy and i'm not with it now the translucent powders remember this is the side that had the um nikia joy cosmetics powder on it and this is the side with the um milani i feel like they look about even they still have the same kind of blurred amount now please remember we only did like half the normal wear test i would normally do which is eight hours we only did like three and a half to four so i feel like they look good for that it's just a question of what you want if you want a lighter powder i would say go with the milani one if you want a like heavier powder then i feel like you should go with the nikia joy cosmetics one but i feel like they both did a good job of blurring and made my skin look nice but you know i don't know i'm, I'm just seeing a lot of gray that i'm not liking and i'm trying to figure out what it is so i don't want to judge the foundation until we try a primer that isn't that to make sure um, as far as the blushes go, I feel like the blushes are actually both holding up pretty fairly. So it just depends on, again, how much glow you want in the blush. I feel like the Pat McGrath one gives a much easier pigmented 
glow to the face with. I feel like y'all saw how hard I had to build this up just to get us to where we are now. So I wasn't necessarily excited about that. But if you don't mind building it up, then I would definitely say go along with the Essence one because they have beautiful products. And as you can see, it looks nice on the skin. It's just you want to put in a whole bunch of work. So if you have a deeper skin tone, you might want to see if you can find this one at TJ Maxx because as you can see, I got I built it up twice and got all this pigmentation going on. Whereas with this one, I had to build it up six, seven, eight, ten times because I guess I'm a deeper skin tone and the pink wasn't necessarily made for my skin tone. I feel like if we had tried the berry instead, it would have um, built up a little bit easier. We'll, f um, we'll find that out another time, though, because I will use it in another video for you to see. But, um, yeah, I just feel like it wasn't, you know, giving what I was hoping it would be giving. But, I mean, for its price point compared to this price point, obviously, I feel like it wouldn't be giving the same. Or, if you're curious what's on my eyes right now, by the way, I have on the Melt X um, Beauty Juice Palette, the Waiting Room Palette, to show you why you don't need to buy the... Um, glam light x chucky crazy and love palette because i feel like you can get a similar effect i know karen said they're not the same but i'm like i already got this in my collection and i wasn't necessarily crazy by their color story and since i already had a similar one i just didn't buy it but if you do want to buy it make sure you use cold cage makeup now back to what we talking about with this face so i used if y'all remember we used the um the Vive Conceal on this side, and we use the um, Minty Conceal on this time. I definitely feel like I see more brightness on this side with the Minty one, and it's supposed to give you brightness, so it makes sense. It's much lighter weight on the skin, but it still has that gel consistency like this one does. So depending on what you prefer, if you like a thicker concealer, I feel like you'd like the Vive side better. And if you like a thinner concealer with more brightness to it, then I feel like you'd like this side better. Now, when it comes to the powders, just make sure you know that Charlotte Tilbury powder has glitter in it. I feel like I'm saying the same stuff I did before, but I feel like they both wore pretty well on both sides considering i feel like this gives a little bit more yellow brightness to the concealer i already put on underneath it so i'm liking this combination a little better than this one but that's my fault i bought the vive concealer in a darker shade than i thought i needed but since i had to buy it online and vive is so far away that's probably another reason i would just say go ahead and go with the minted one you can buy from black on brand i know this one is under like 20 bucks and i forgot how much this one was because remember there's conversion rates and you have to wait a long time for shipping and all that whereas um obviously minted is a u.s brand it's a woman-owned black owned brand as well so keep that in mind i like the nars powder a little bit better than the charlotte tilbury one too when it comes to this side because i do feel like it gives a soft matte look and it doesn't have that glittery effect to it i feel like the charlotte tilbury has it's not an extreme glitter but it's like i can see a couple particles when i um put it on like i told you all about so just keep that in mind when it comes to it as well so so far i'm liking the affordable side a little bit more than i'm liking this side i do like um mother's blush better on this side though too so those are my thoughts on the face. I think everything wore pretty well. I'm curious to see how these powders will look if I don't use that primer though because I feel like it might be playing up and helping it look gray. I just feel like I look really gray and it's like, like I said, this is the shade I normally buy. So, so those are my thoughts on all the products. So I like both products for different reasons and I told you the different reasons as to why. So if you think you'd be interested in one versus another one, you see how it wears within four hours worth of wear. And I think it wore pretty good and you've seen me do eight hour wear tests on a good majority of the things on my face. So that's why I don't feel bad about cutting it short. The only thing i haven't worn for eight hours is this blush i've literally worn everything else that's on my face for eight hours before besides the foundation but you all this is the eight hour wear foundation to in the next clip so i'll see you later girl okay 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 y'all so i have turned um here's what our face is looking like we're nice and oily and you know whatever let's see what it actually looks like close up though because as usual i just sat my happy self down and not did anything whatsoever i had a little bit of a headache so that's why this video is going up late if so scope at five it is like eight o'clock eight o'clock so I'm, I'm late so you'll probably see this at like 9 30 my bad um curious what's on the eyes this is another um old school versus new school coming to you soon i've been trying to film all those and get all those out the way so i'm gonna try to film some more tonight we'll see how that goes i'm supposed to be watching a movie with adrian game over though so i mean it won't be till probably after the movie because you know we already got the beat on it's too late it's too late um but yeah so back to the face um i feel like this side's more oily than this side which i don't understand why because i you know i didn't do anything different in any side either side other than like the blush situation going on here i'm trying out the shawl you to feel better blushes today um in the shade what is it dream pop you know the um reddish pinkish one so as you can see on this side um uh, it has worn off pretty much completely this is the side i put um what do you call it um I put it on before when I before I put powder all over my face. This side I did afterwards with powder, but I set it with a powder blush. So I prefer it that way. As you can see, it lasted much longer. I put on 
Night Bloom by Mother on top of Charlotte's. And I feel like I did an excellent job. The only thing is, I'm still trying to figure out why this side is so much oilier than this side. I don't know what's going on with that. I use the same primer, the Tatcha the Liquid Tilt Canvas. But I'm liking the way the foundation looks a whole lot better today than I did the day before that you all saw when um, I had that white um, powdery primer on. So, I definitely think that it blends with my skin nicely once it warms up to the skin. But initially when I put it on, it looks like it doesn't match me at all. So that's just something I have to keep in mind. I think it looks pretty nice on the skin though. I'm going to have to try to find a primer though that's more um, mattifying. Because I feel like that's why I'm looking so oily and crazy right now. Because otherwise, I like the way the foundation wore. Um, initially, if you all remember, I told you it looks really cakey on this side. It still looks really cakey on this side. No, it's looking kind of cakey on this side. But I have been wearing it since... I want to say 12 o'clock this afternoon and it's like 8 o'clock at night. So I did a full 8 hour wear. My lipstick is going because I eat tacos after um, filming. So but the lipstick looks really nice. I'm liking that new lip combo. I'm definitely going to be using that pretty often. Um, you can comment down below and tell me which I prefer. If you're curious which battles this is. It's not going to be coming up anytime soon most likely. But you know. I'm liking both the eyes. But yeah, I would recommend this. I think it has a good amount of coverage. I think it lasts pretty nicely. I just think it's weird that this is one for oily combination skin in particular. Because I don't necessarily feel like it necessarily works that way. But then again, I've only worn it for two days. So I can't say too much about it. Y'all know you'll get a complexion corner and I'll go into further detail. I'll have worn it with different primers and things like that. But I like it well enough to say if you want to try it out, you should go ahead and try it out. It's not nearly as thick as the original one in the balm is. Just... Be a little mindful when you're picking your shade you might have a different shade or you might be lucky enough to still have the same shade like i do and it just has to warm to your skin a little bit so that's the only thing i'm concerned about like when it comes to picking your shade you might want to go in the store and pick it instead of just assuming you're the same shade you've been all this time because i feel like they added more shades and that's why initially it didn't look like it worked for me but it ended up working out so that's all i gotta say about it but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the dimes i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye